Hey, what up, guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty, here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Episode number 290. Happy Saturday. Happy weekend. Happy... Hope you have a great day. That sort of thing. Kind of day. Uh... Yeah, like I said, it's episode 290 today, uh, and we are going to get well and truly into the Futties promo. Um, if you enjoy it, hit me with a thumbs up, subscribe as well if you're new. All my social links are down below, you know the drill by now. Uh, but yeah, essentially, uh, I've got a little bit of the pre-Futties, uh, some gameplay, and then actual Futties pack open and stuff as well. So uh, I'm sure you will enjoy. Now we're going to start the episode off with my pre-order um icon or hero that they're going to give us uh, on this game so i pre-ordered fc 25 and i end up getting myself an icon and i actually end up getting chabby alonso um i was pretty pleased with that to be fair uh so yeah if you uh i believe if you pre-order the game from within in game the ultimate edition right now this is one of the perks they give you an icon on this game or icon or hero um Obviously, I'm going to get the ultimate edition of the game, so I'll happily take it with a a slight benefit of getting a free icon on the game or included icon, whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, I'll take that, and uh, that means that I have now pre-ordered FC25. So the road to glory will be happening, of course. Um, we've had lots of fun, interesting FC25 news, haven't we, uh, over the last few days? Uh, and a lot of it seems... I'm, I'm super happy with so much of it, actually. Um, I'm sure you guys have done your research and done your digging and watched people's videos and read the articles and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but there's some pretty cool stuff uh, coming, including that new game mode, Rush. Um, so it looks like we need to need to get some mates together and uh, and get you know better at playing the sort of me in control of one player and everyone else in control of their own player type thing. A little bit like clubs, but smaller. Um, I'm never really that great at that, but that will be interesting to see how it goes down. So uh, I figured at this point, I, if I could try and get my 85 times fives done, that would add into a batch of packs that I could uh, open after 6 p.m. for Futties. And then I literally accidentally opened one as soon as I went in the store. What an idiot. Um, we get ourselves a double walkout of Endler and uh, somebody else. I genuinely can't remember who else. Ah, oh, Verge. Um, so, yeah, I... I've accidentally opened it. Uh, that, that wasn't the plan. Um, I'd built a bunch of 80 times threes because I was I was hoping that that could help me get team of the weeks to then build my 85 times fives, but I accidentally clicked the wrong pack. Uh, I am going to open up a 90 plus tradable tots upgrade though because this was before 6 p.m. So I didn't really know if we were just going to get a footies team or a best of team, and if we did get a best of team, would it include team of the seasons at this stage or whatever? Um, and I mean, as it uh, as it happens, it, there, there are team of the seasons out in packs now. Um, but I got myself this 91 Vertonghen. Probably wasn't worth doing, to be fair. Uh, he wasn't more. It wasn't expensive enough for me to want to sell, um, like 30 to 40k. So he's just going to go into another 85 times 5. So that was probably a little bit pointless, I'll be honest. Uh, but then I did a batch of 80, uh, 80 times 3s. I found these to be better than player picks recently. But of course, once again, this is pre-Futties. Um, I was just trying to get stuff ready so that I could get as many packs as possible for Futties. And we do end up actually having like 50 packs. I think I end up eventually getting like 40 of the 80 times 3s. And then... Uh, a couple 85 times fives. EA gave us a pack as well for logging in uh, or, or just, you know, for, for the start of footies. And also the gameplay that you're going to see in a bit is me completing that objective, the um, Festival of Football Cup thingy. Um, so there's some pretty good packs in that as well. So actually, I uh, I, I used the, the Friday during the day really quite well um, to get myself up to and ready for the Futties promo, which was made me quite happy because I had no, I didn't really have a much of a plan for my Friday. I was like, do I just wait until 6 PM and then hope that we can do some sort of packs? So I'm glad I spent a few hours just playing the game and grinding the objectives and whatnot so that I could get more ready. If you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we are we're now sitting fairly pretty uh, with a couple of eighty-five times fives. I then also obviously built a bunch of packs. Uh, if I'm opening anything here, it's either because it's from part of a team of the week player pick uh, SBC, or it's a fifty-one player pack because I was trying to again get more stuff for the club to be able to get more of these eighty times three packs together. However, do you know what? I'll do I'll do it for tomorrow's episode. If I've got like an eighty-nine. 
I reckon if you do an exchange pack now, you probably get some some special cards. I wonder if I could just. I'm gonna try and if I've got an 89, I might not have. I just spent everything on a on an icon SBC. You'll see tomorrow. Um, but let's see. Do I have an 89 rated gold or any 89 rated something that I can put in here? Do, do, do. I've got an 88. What about 89 in the specials? Uh, not really. It's probably not worth. Yeah, it's not worth me doing it right at this second. But I reckon if you do an exchange pack right now, you're probably going to end up getting a few special cards, and that could actually be really useful. You know, um, especially if a bunch of the special cards are like 89 rated. That might even pull the prices down of those cards and make exchanges a really, really good grind. Oh, I hope so. I hope that we just go full silly season, summer season, um, because I'm liking it so far. But anyway, uh, I'm not going to show you all of the gameplay. I had three wins at the start of the day. I had to get nine more, um, and I did it within about an hour and a half, I'm pretty sure. So actually, kind of found my mojo a little bit again in-game. Um, a lot of that was due to putting Drogba in the left forward position, giving myself an aerial outlet. Uh, and then just using and abusing uh, Finesse Shot Plus and uh, trying to do some nice first time passes and stuff with, with my team. Um, trying to just make space. It's, I find that very difficult at the moment. But as you can see, I ended up coming from 3-1 down in this one to win 4-3. Uh, and then the very, very last game I played, I think I needed just one more win. And all of a sudden, all of my opponents became so, so tough. Uh, but eventually, um, I ended up getting this dodgy little goal here. Uh, and that was, uh, like I said, that was enough uh, because some people were quitting at 1-0. Some people weren't. Um, I don't really mind at this stage of the game. If people really wanted to play the games out, I was happy to do so as well. Um, so these are all of the rewards that we end up getting for playing this uh, objective game mode. We've got a lone Musiala until, I guess, the start of August. Yeah, 01 August. Uh, and then a bunch of cool packs as well. So let's just now um, take one last look at how the squad is pre fatties All right. This is it. How pink will my squad be in one week's time? We we shall see. Uh, but let's move on in to the start of the brand new promo. Um, so EA are telling us all about the, the promo right here and the fact that they give us an 85 times 3 as a little starter for logging in and all of that. And then also we get two Evo slots to complete at the same time. That's a dub. That is a big old dub. I think we should have had that months ago, but uh, hey, at least we've got it, right? So exactly 50 packs in my store. I decided for the rest of this episode, I'm going to open the big bad boys. All right, and I'll save those 80 times threes that I've got like 40 of. I'll save them and I'll just I'll rip them open during tomorrow's episode. Um, let's see if we can get some cool, colorful cards. Um, <clears throat> and at this point, I opened my first one. I was like, all right, double gold walkouts. I'm not sure I knew that there was a best of batch out. Maybe I did, because did they mention it in that little pretext thing? They might have done. Um, and then I get a card here, and I'm like, oh, could this be a fight? Is that probably not, right? It's blue. It's blue and sort of purplish. Um, so I end up getting myself uh, my first special card of, uh, well, many uh, for the rest of this episode. For the rest of this promo, no doubt. I get Oberdorf's brother, Oberdorf, uh, and uh, Rico Lewis. So, uh, yeah, I mean, 88 rated Lewis there is all right. Maybe could end up going in an Evo, but I think I'll probably end up putting them in an SBC, to be to be fair. We've got these for the whole week, right? So we're going to pack these cards over and over again, no doubt about it. Um, so I am not going to be shy to uh, to pop these into SBCs. Hopefully at some point, uh, there'll be like an Evo that comes out where I've, I've got one of these random promo cards from back in back during the... Uh, throughout the cycle um that actually fits perfectly into an evo that would be lovely i think that would be wise as well for ea to sort of give some evos that that could fit some of these random cards that we're packing left right and center but it does make your packs a lot more a lot brighter a lot more colorful and a lot more usable you know um not necessarily in-game usable but summer season silly season fodder usable which we love like an 83 times two when do you ever get more than two 83s from that? I mean, right now, I'm getting myself a double walkout with an 87 Erdegaard um, to start things off. And then I thought maybe my first fatties. And then I saw in that top left corner, I was like, nah, that's uh, that's foot birthday, isn't it? Um, we got ourselves Maitland Niles. Uh, so, of course, I mean, it's a pinky purpley card, right? Like... <laughs> That, 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 there's no wonder I thought that that might have been a fatties. But will we pack fatties today? 
They're obviously super high rated. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't even know fully who is out right now. I don't know exactly who we've got apart from I saw a 99 Neymar uh, and I'm pretty sure a 99 Alexia Pateas. Is it Pateas or was it Bomati? I think it's Pateas. Um, which if the if EA wouldn't mind just giving me that would be quality because I haven't used a version of Pateas all year. Uh, same with Mbappe if they're if they're well, I'm guessing there will be a footies Mbappe at some point. Be nice if EA could just let me have that one in a pack too. Thank you very much. Um, double walkout here. Not really sure what the flares were all about, uh, but it is an ultimate birth. No future stars Lamptey, uh, and then it is one of those. Um, what was this promo called, man? What was this one called? Ugly card design promo. Radioactive. That was the one. Uh, Anderson Taliska. Probably could turn him into a monster through uh, through Evos. But his dynamic image will always be stained yellow. So uh, his, his dynamic will never, ever look good. Um, which is a shame for all of the players from that promo, isn't it? In my opinion, uh, it was the worst card design we might have ever had. One of the worst card designs we've ever had. I hated it. I hate radioactive card design. Ugh. Um, I like the idea of getting more chemistry and stuff, but it certainly wasn't the prettiest, was it? Uh, so a duplicate Musiala uh, ends up helping me do this re-release batch one player pick. Um, costs an 80, 5 or an 86 rated squad, and you get a one of three. And that is all the players that are out right now. So uh, there are, of course, some team of the season players out. That could be useful um, because that then makes like the daily 85 times fives or whatever. Um you know, a lot more doable if you if you haven't got to constantly do Team of the Week SBCs and stuff. I take a 90 Garnacho. I thought right here, hey, my first footies, here we go. Um, you know, just chilling behind Osimen, And then I'm like, nope, here it's Ultimate Birthday again. Okay, when are they finally going to give me the actual pink card design that I want to see? Um, so it hasn't happened yet, but we're getting there. Uh, next up is an 85 times 5 and... This is, again, not a phase, but a little bit, it's sort of like reddish pink this time. So they're really trolling me. Um, an 88 Robertson, uh, Thunderstruck? No. Uh, Trailblazer. And then Fire and Ice, Marta. Uh, yeah, I mean, also uh, another, another card there, another couple of special cards there. Another 85 times 5 then. And we are finally, oh wait, no. Thought maybe we were going, oh, we actually are going to get our first phase. Uh, I didn't realize it at the time. It is a hero, 95 rated Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. Uh, and then the second one, we get two footies in one pack. Uh, it's actually going to be Rafael Marquez. So another hero. We get two footies heroes in one pack. What a way to start my promo, hey? That is uh, that is fantastic. Um, we also get an ultimate birthday in there as well. Of course we do. Uh, and a pop and a bronze because, yeah, that, that always happens too. Uh, but, yeah, two ultimate birthday heroes in one pack. Buzzing. And that is my way of starting off this promo. Managed to get one. I've submitted a squad for Kaka, by the way, because I've loved every version of Kaka. How can I not want to unlock that man? Uh, he looks absolutely unreal. I need Kaka in my life. So, yeah. He's joining the club, um, and I will submit my other one at some point in time. Uh, now, this was the moment that I realized that actually, yeah, Tots are in, in, in this batch of re-release stuff as well, which is a massive dub because uh, I want to get as many Tots as possible, making my daily SBCs cheaper. We get ourselves um, Letizia and then Tots Dewsbury Hall, who, of course, is now a Chelsea player, isn't he? Uh, and then another Pop and a Daily Luca. Love that. There is, of course, also the Luca Modric SBC. I think because we mentioned the Daily Luca so much, we probably need to do that as well, right? Probably need to work on all of this stuff. And I think it is the time of year where you can do like all of the SBCs. You've just got to grind through the gameplay, through the menus, all of that stuff. And you'll have uh, you'll have everything at your disposal. My friends, we've come towards the end of the episode for today. If you have enjoyed, do me a tiny little favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe as well if you're new to the channel. Cheers and follow me on social media. All the links can be found down below. Have a great rest of your day. Take it easy, ladies and gentlemen, my friends. I'll see you again tomorrow for some more pack opening, futties, crazy action. See you then. Peace.